Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with a completely new show and this is Serial Experiment Slain episode number 1. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I have no idea what this is about. I've heard a lot of things about it and from the like, you know, poster and everything, uh, from what I've heard from the people, I think this is a psychological anime, most probably. Uh, I'm not sure, but like, you know, everything kind of makes me feel as if it is a psychological anime. And the name itself is kind of, um, like, you know, kind of making me feel that because Serial Experiments name, like, I'm guessing someone is, like, you know, being subjected to some kind of experiments, like, human experiments. I'm not sure. Like, that's, like, you know, that's what I feel, like, listening to the, uh, uh, you know, a name of the show and kind of seeing the like, you know, the actual main poster. It looks kind of like psychological type of uh, show. Mm, I don't know. So like, you know, some kind of thriller or, thriller or something. So yeah, like I'm going in blind here and I've heard a lot of good things about this. So I'm quite excited to check what this is out, uh, what this is about. So if you're new to my channel, uh, I, I do timer reactions because of copyright and I usually like, you know, uh, post like upload one video every week. So every week I'll be post posting one episode reaction of this. And I think this has 13 episodes, something like that. So it's going to take uh, three months, I'm, I'm guessing for this, like, for me to complete this. So yeah, so that's just it. it. So let's check this uh, out, what this is about. I'm quite excited to see what this is. And if this is really what I feel like it is, uh, this will be really great because I feel like this is some kind of a thriller, uh, you know, um, I don't know, psychological type of an anime and I love those things. So, <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see this, what this is about. This is quite an old anime as well. So yeah, anyways, okay. So uh, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer over here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with this video so all right so let's start here's the countdown three two one go what what Oh, this is open. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the, the opening. The 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 scrolls scrolls in the opening. Or are the ravens? Wow, the, the the opening song is really great as well. Okay. Wow, that this is a really nice song. I'll I'll probably listen to this like you know later on even more. I really like this song. This kind of makes me <sighs> reminds me of a song. I think it's called "Zombies" by Cranberries or something like that. The 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 tone. I'm not sure if you guys have heard it or something. It's quite an old song, and I remember like you know listening to it when I was younger. I used to listen to it a lot. It was called "Zombies." Whoa! Everything is freezed in midair. What the hell? Okay. Whoa. We weird. Whoa, this is weird, really weird. <laughs> like, you're like whispering in your ears, what the hell? Huh. 
Okay. Um, why are they laughing at her? Well, what are these like red patches all over the place? Why do? Figure out what. Uh, what the? Is is she trying to commit suicide or something? That that girl? Yeah. Oh no. I think so. Yeah, she she's on top of a building. Oh god. I don't need to stay in a place like this. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Ah. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh god. Started with a suicide. What are these red red patches like? Okay, this is quite weird. And I can feel the psychological aspect here. To stay in a place like this, you might not be able to connect. Okay, that was weird. Oh, the, the shadows are kind of being replaced with this red patchy thing, I think. They're gonna, every place where there's a shadow, it's kind of red and patchy. Yeah, yeah, look at that. What the hell is... All the shadows are replaced by it. This is a weird buzzing noise. Again, the noise. Whoa, what the hell is happening? <laughs> um. What is Ah, okay. Okay, the, the shadows are normal now. Oh, no, it's not not normal. Something's happening. But there's no red patch. Oh, wait, yo, the 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 statue staring at her. Everybody hurry. What is happening? What? Someone bullied him her or something? Okay. Okay, her name is Lane. Okay. What? Chitsa Yomoto. 
Oh, the girl who committed suicide or something? Is that her name? She's still crying. Oh, he... Yeah, yeah, that, that's the guy. Not just Judy. Oh... Oh, after she died. Okay. Ah, I thought it was before. Okay, it's after. Okay. The sound is run. Okay, something is up with this girl. <laughs> he's she's seeing weird stuff now and then. Um, mm, yeah, that's not good. Was it like when you? What is it? it really hurts. Again, again, the sound. Whenever these, like you know, these things are coming, these electric lines. The, the sound is kind of coming as well and the the shadows are again red patch filled does this sound somehow like something related to the electric lines or something and some kind of radio interference going on or, i don't know okay Wait, what are those? Teddy bears? Yeah, those are like little uh, dolls, teddy bears, plushies. Hmm. Uh. Oh, what is this? What is this? Some kind of computer? Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it, it is some kind of computer, I think. Lane, okay. Oh, so okay. Oh, there's some futuristic gadgets. No, it's kind of hello how are you wait this is the message Oh, he's, she's conversing with her now. But 
It took me a little bit of time to actually catch that. So she's dead, but she's still speaking with them. This is a prank man. Why her? God is... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, this is not weird at all. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Your family members, I'm guessing. Mom and sister, most probably. Wait. Ah. Wait, the mom did not react to it. What the hell? What? Okay. Okay, someone came. Maybe his dad, her dad? Yeah. Most probably. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, his dad is like a tech savvy person. Whereas she cannot, yeah, she cannot use technology that much, I'm guessing. Oh, it's a lot of. Okay, that thing is called a Navi. <laughs> it's like, oh, like, finally, you're... <laughs> yeah. It looks... Wired. Whoa, what is happening here? What is this? Yo, this guy seems a little bit too much into the whole technology thing. Will she say that my... Yeah. What the hell? Yo! This is this guy! He's like, ha 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 ha! Who laughs like that? What is this? <laughs> uh. Oh my god, her family is also kind of... <laughs> Whoa! Do I have? Accident. Hmm.
Oh no, blood! Oh no. What? Oh god, it's so bright! Damn! What is happening here? Like... Um... the electric wires again okay um oh wow okay Hmm. Okay, who's... Um, you should probably move. Okay, um... What the? Oh, that was a dream. Okay. Well, obviously that was a dream. Like, what? Okay. Come to the wired as soon as you can. Wired, yeah, like the, the dad said something about that. Hmm. Oh, it's blue patched now. Oh no, it's red again. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Um. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um. Oh, okay. And the sound comes back again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I guess. Okay, let's let's listen to the ending song. I love the opening.
you know what I love about this um what I loved about this first episode it has a weird atmosphere which I love I'm gonna talk about this the whole atmosphere of this show like okay like let's Oh, okay. Okay, it's also a nice ending. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, um, so yeah, what I was trying to say here is uh, the atmosphere of this, just a sec. The atmosphere of this um, show, Student Experiments Lane. I love this as more atmosphere. Now, this atmosphere I'm trying to say here is like, this atmosphere is very like, you know, like familiar to me. Like, you know, how everything was happening in such a weird way. Like, there, there's, there's a, like, you know, like, it was kind of calm and quiet stuff were happening, weird stuff were happening. Like, you know, the, the sound effects and everything that was going on, there's a weird, airy type of vibe and all these things. This atmosphere, I've, like, experienced a lot of times for one particular, not one, but one particular series that is, um, the science adventure series if you guys know about that the science adventure series are like you know a set of science uh, fictional visual novel and anime adaptations as well it had is i'm talking about chaos head chaos child steins gate steins gate zero and like you know all these like uh, there are a few other like you know uh, series in the science adventure uh, series as well another one is robotic notes uh, that's another amazing uh, like thing occultic nine like you know all these like all these so chaos head uh chaos child like these now like especially like this show especially had the atmosphere of chaos head like if you guys have seen chaos head or if, it will be even better if you have like you know read the visual novel you're going to be able to understand what i'm trying to talk about the whole atmosphere was something like that like you know chaos head has an unusual type of an atmosphere where like you know it, it it's weird it's weird it's like you know it's airy and it, it, it i don't know how to else to explain it steins gate also has that you know the, the type of a weird silence it has like you know like it feels as if it's messing with your head like that type of thing i love this like, you know i love this thing so much and this show really reminded me of that and like, you know, this also has a setting which is a lot similar to uh, Chaos Head as well with the whole, del not like, you know, Chaos Head has a main, like the main plot of Chaos Head is of delusions. Like, that's the main thing of Chaos Head. Like, it's filled with delusions, you know, and like, like, you know, like seeing the delusions and everything, this reminded me of like, you know, like this show reminded me of Chaos Head a lot because like here as well, like it's, it seems as if you're seeing something which is not happening. It, it's as if you're living in a world of delusions you know and like i love that like I, I love that type of stuff and especially like when like this this girl especially when whenever this girl was involved in a few things like she's seeing weird stuff first of all the first weird stuff she's seeing is i'm not sure if that if that is something that she's seeing or that is something of that like, you know that is particular to this anime like the the shadows like sometimes the shadows are normal you know like as normal shadows are sometimes it's like red patch shadows sometimes it's blue patch shadows and sometimes she's seeing stuff like like you know the, the people who are walking in front they're like vanishing in front of her eyes she's like you know tripping sometimes she's just like standing somewhere and then suddenly she sees that she's somewhere else and suddenly like she sees that she's in front of her rail track and then she comes back to school and she realizes that she was dreaming and then again she is like another thing that's weird is like the mm, what was that um 
the, the, the whole, like, you know, the buzzing sound that's happening, uh, the, the, the letters and everything changing in front of, in, in the blackboard. And like, you know, like saying that come to the wired or something like that. I am not sure what that was about, but her dad also, her dad also mentioned something about the wired. And um, I'm guessing it's some kind of uh, social network or something. I'm not sure, but something like that most probably. But yeah. Mm, so yeah, like th this is something that I really like about this show. And it has a dark, like, you know, dark tone as well. When it's like in the beginning, we see the person committing suicide and then like she comes back in form of males. Like, you know, like she's sending males to them and she's saying stuff like, uh, like, you know, my physical body has died. I'm still here. I'm not sure what she said there. Just a sec. Let me check that portion out again. She's saying something like, I'm like, you know, my physical body is dead, but I'm still here. Just a sec. Okay, here it is. I have only given up my body. Here we go. By doing this, I can explain to you that I am still alive. And I wanted to let you know that. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, why did you die? Lane asks, why did you die? And she says that God is here. Okay. Um... Like that was, I think this like, you know, like what she's trying to say here will be later on explained as like, there's a little mystery vibe here as well. That's going on. Like, excuse me, where the person is dead, but she says something like I've only given up my body and you know, the place where I am, I'm sending message from there and God is here. She's just saying something like that and um like i don't know why she just said that to lane you know she said something like i wanted you to know there must be some other like you know uh reasons why she is she's only like you know like writing these type of things to lane or maybe she also like uh sent the same thing to the other people and they're just ignoring it you know like and she sent this message to a few people as she said and a lot of like most of them are kind of uh, like a few like you know one girl kind of freaked out was crying and everything like obviously like a person died and she's sending you uh, mails like what the hell is with that and it's, it's not some like like you know normal mail it's it's it's, it's that it's like happening the conversation is happening then and there it's not some kind of mail that like you know like i could have expected something like this happening uh if it was a normal mail like for example maybe she scheduled the mail to be like you know uh, delivered at a certain time and she committed suicide and after that the mail went uh, like you know to them like everyone's freaking out but obviously it's not something that is unusual but this is not a mail like that they're, they're talking with each other at that moment you know it's like a social um, like the, the messaging at, in real time so it's not something that she has already scheduled it before that it went afterwards nothing like that they're having the conversation at that moment, at that time. So that's the most freaky part here. And I'm sure a lot of people got freaked out because of that. The girl who was crying like that, like that's, that was one. And a few people are kind of disturbed by it. As we saw a few other girls were also saying that, yeah, like a few others also got the mail. And it's kind of weird. And people are saying that it's a prank and all, all that stuff. So yeah, that was another thing. Okay, one thing, uh, another weird thing that's happening here is the rainbow colored sections where we get this, like, you know, like a, a little conversation, like, like, and one of them is saying that, what's it like when you die? Like suddenly, like in the middle of a scene. Okay, and then there's like a thing like it, it really hurts and there's a smiley face, like what? <laughs> like, uh, I'm sure like, we're also going to get some explanation about that later on. But these are the few mysterious things that are happening, uh, you know. And uh, uh, another thing is like, I'm sure this, this girl is a little bit special in some way because the way she is, you know, seeing stuff suddenly and then like in, in the middle of the train, she hears a weird buzzing sound and there's like, Okay, yeah, the, the first train scene, she's just standing there and there's like weird sound going on. People are kind of talking in the background 
and like the the train is weird looking but uh, uh, like you know the, the sounds are coming in our ears but we can see that all the people are kind of minding their own business no one is talking and she's hearing these kind of voices and she says that like oh damn like shut up like can't you be quiet and like people suddenly look at her and like so they're like what the hell is this girl even saying like we, we're just keeping quiet <laughs> And then they like start minding their own business again and then the noise stops actually stops you can only hear the train uh, sound and then like that's that was the first train right i think it was the second train ride when another accident happens and there's like blood dripping from the uh from the wires up above uh, you know i'm not sure what that was but i'm sure we'll get some explanation later on just a sec uh yeah and oh god another thing uh we got to know here is uh the, the the weird machine that they were talking in that was some kind of a gadget i'm guessing and i'm guessing everyone has that like when uh she like went to school and uh like the other girl was asking her uh don't you didn't you read the mail and she was like what mail i, I don't use these kind of things i'm not good with them and the girl says like at least like you know look at your mails so i'm guessing that the gadget the red gadget that she was using was kind of uh, a new thing you know at that moment uh, which people use to communicate with others and it has a weird voice like you know narration thing like it's not that they're just typing the message they're typing the message and the like machine is kind of like like translating it into a voice voiced medium you know like and the, and the sound is weird like the way it talks it's really weird and creepy <laughs> but you know i guess like uh yeah and another thing like one thing that you can actually understand is that uh, like from this episode is that this is really old because you know even though the things are kind of like you know futuristic a little bit for example that thing that little machine and that she was using it as a social mes messaging app uh, even though like if that thing was a little bit futuristic the computers that they're using are the like you know the, the uh, like you know old computers with like you know those huge monitors that we had uh i'm not sure like uh, how many people of you uh like you know uh, know those things like i had a computer like that uh, when i was younger like you know like it, it, the, the monitor was this big and it had a like huge thing in the back uh, like the picture tube i think that it was contained it and it was this thick and this fat <laughs> you know those type of monitors like like seeing those monitors in this setting it, it, it kind of makes us understand that yeah this is something that's quite old because i'm sure when this was made those type of monitors were there like nowadays we have this type of slim monitors everyone has slim monitors like you know like there's nothing new nowadays but at that time like people had that type of monitor so like it's kind of like that like that i, I found it quite funny you know like seeing so many big huge monitors kind of like you know placed one after like in, in the dad's room like you know there was like wires here and there the cpus were there and there was like these fat monitors six or seven of them <laughs> oh my god uh that was funny uh you know because like nowadays we see like like especially in youtubers like you know gaming like people who do gaming videos youtube videos they have these like three or four like screens like lined up together and it's something similar to that but the monitors here are fat oh my god anyways this is something completely different i went into a completely different topic but anyways uh like yeah so that and okay so what i was saying like uh so <clears throat> so he was he's not uh properly able to uh use this kind of like technological things i'm guessing she said that she's bad at it that's why she doesn't even check her mails and now when she comes to her dad's place uh room her dad she asks her dad to buy something for her uh, something like that and had, 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 had dad was like very like excited about it because i'm think most probably she he loves these type of technological things as we can see and she says that we are all connected nowadays like throughout through the wired and i think the wired is some kind of social messaging thing or something you know and like she looks pretty he looks pretty excited like he's excited that oh my god my daughter is also wanting to um like you know get into the whole technological thing and 
I'm not sure what he does for his job, but we can see that he is doing some kind of uh, thing. Oh, wait a minute. I noticed something here. <laughs> the name of the software that that guy is using is called oyaji.exe. <laughs> Oyaji means uh, old man in Japanese, so it's kind of <laughs> funny to see. Anyways, um, so yeah, as he like, we can probably guess that he's doing these kind of like some kind of job like that's related to these kind of technological things. And uh, one thing that freaked me out here is the way he. Where where is it? In the end. Like, you know, like he got so excited. He was like, he was like, hey, hey, hey. like this, like, what is that? <laughs> That's not how a person loves, especially in front of your daughter. Like, what the hell? Like, he, he feels like he's so excited, like a little kid, like, oh my God. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like, I don't know about you guys, but that's, that's weird. Uh, but anyways, um, that and also we saw before that her mom was pretty nonchalant about everything. Like, you know, like when she said that to her mom that, oh, like my dead friend messaged me. Her mom was like, didn't, didn't even say anything. Uh, uh, like, I don't know <laughs> what that was. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing the other person was his, his, her sister and her sister just like left the room before that. So I'm not sure how she could have reacted. But her mom did not react at all like her mom was like oh okay <laughs> something like that but yeah like her, her dad is hyper like you know <laughs> like like hyper excited and her mom was like nothing but yeah anyways and then there's those weird sections where he she suddenly goes to these type of uh like you know different situation in front of the like you know cars in front of the train track all that stuff and suddenly she sees someone jumping in front of the train track and that person had a weird face. I'm not sure what that was, but you know, and then she's back at her, um, what do you call it? Like she was back at some kind of room and then like weird fog. There's this weird fog that was happening. And then she's back at her classroom. And when she looks, uh, at the blackboard, she sees that it's written like come to the wired as soon as you can uh, And then they like she comes out and there's this weird patches again in the shadows and then she meets The girl who committed suicide. What was her name? I forgot um, Wait a minute What was her name? I forgot uh, it was something like Mm. Oh, just a sec. I'm trying to find her name out. Um, Chisa. Yo, yo, Moda Chisa. Okay. All right. So that girl, like, she's just standing there, you know. And one thing, I, I think I should. Okay, just a sec. One thing I noticed here, like the Chisa girl, she's walking on the, the, the weird shadow portion, like, you know, where, where the weird shadow is. Okay, let's see. I, I'm not sure if that kind of symbolizes something or not, but you know, and then she suddenly disappears in a weird way. Like, I don't know what that was like, she kind of you know, gets sliced into layer and kind of vanishes, like <laughs> the weird thing, but yeah. Okay, so my first impressions, as I said, I really like this, especially the atmosphere of this uh, anime. Uh, I said this before, but this really reminds me of uh, the science experiment, uh, the science adventure series of like, you know, Chaos Head, Chaos Child, Science Gate, these type of like, you know, sh uh, like these uh, shows. And these visual novels and i love that and um yeah I'm, I'm sure i'm going to love this like it's really interesting there are a few information we got but still a lot of mysteries are here surrounding us and i'm sure we're going to get some explanations in the future what all of these things are about and yeah uh really great first episode i love it so 
yeah that was it so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to serial experiments lane episode number one so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed um as i said i'm going to do this weekly you know every week one episode so next week i'm going to put out episode number two my reaction to episode number two so yeah and comment down below anything you want to say your opinions about this anime or anything in general you want to let me know i'm going to check them out so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of serial experiments lane so until then goodbye and have a nice day